Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. This is going to be an amazing video. I got a box inside. Just came back from FedEx. Got a nice shipment of snakes from Morph Market. Um, last night, I worked real, real late. I didn't get much sleep. So I was thinking about maybe postponing this video and showing you the snakes after I already opened them because I'm really tired. But you know what? I love doing these unboxing videos so much. I got the energy to do it. So we're gonna go back inside right now and I'm gonna show you what I got. All right guys, so here is the box. I have four snakes in this box ordered from Morph Market. Now, if you guys don't know VMS Herps, the breeder's name is Sean Nyland. Amazing, amazing colubrid breeder. He has so many colubrids. You can go check him out on Morph Market. You can go check him out on his personal business page. He has so many amazing, amazing snakes. I have four beautiful snakes in this box and I, I bought them for specific reasons, for breeding projects. And I'm just so happy that this is finally here. I ordered some of these snakes over four months ago and I had them just on hold. I paid for them and I just kept adding to what I was gonna purchase because I know I'm gonna add more to save on shipping. So I paid shipping one time for all four snakes instead of ordering separately. So without further ado, let's get into this unboxing. All right guys, I got my little scissors and I'm about to cut this box open. So I want to give you guys a quick overlook of what it looks like when you open the box. For those of you who never ordered online, this is typically what you'll see from a quality reptile breeder or a snake breeder. You get the company name and then the invoice shows you exactly what you purchased and all the genetics with the price, the date of birth, and there's different snakes here, four snakes. So there's four invoices. So I just wanted to show you guys what that looks like when you open the box. All right, guys, so I'm going to save these invoices. It has all the genetics and the type of snakes that I picked up. I could save this when I make my little index cards or labels for the bins. It tells me the exact genetics because I like to put the genetics on the label of each bin. So when you open the box, you're going to see usually shipping noodles, in this case, shipping paper or paper towel just to give the snake cushion so it doesn't knock around during shipping. And you can see right there, look at this beautiful snake right on top. One of my favorite snakes that I ordered. I'm gonna show you guys this one. Oh man, just a beauty. All right, so this is packed really well. And the first snake on top is one of my favorites. I got the invoice right here. It's an extreme high white banded California king snake and it's het albino, so this is just gonna blow things into new proportions because I love albino high white Cali kings, so let me show you exactly what this boy looks like. So now take a look at this banded high white Cali king. Unbelievable pattern on this guy. It looks like a Dalmatian. I've seen these a couple of times, but nobody usually sells them when they come out looking this beautiful. Just a great addition to the collection and he's head albino. So imagine producing these in an albino form. Just amazing. So I'm really excited. I was tired before I did this video, but now I'm getting that energy back. Looking at that first California King Snake, I'm just, my mind is blown at how clean that white pattern is. So without further ado, let me show you the next snake. Oh my goodness, this is an amazing one. Check that out. 
That is one clean, clean king snake. Now I could produce some nice looking babies with this guy. He'll be looking for a nice female in the future. So holding this guy for the first time, he's pretty calm. He's not trying to nip at my fingers or anything like that. Beautiful snake, almost patternless. There's no markings on his body, just a little pink on his head and at the end of, it, end of his tail. So my plans with him is to get a female with that exact type of patternless body, pure white, but a regular head albino female so I could get a mixed clutch. And I just wanna produce patternless, high white cow kings because I think those are some of the nicest cow, cow kings around and you don't really see pure white California king snakes so it's just amazing. I can't wait to see what the future holds. All right, so those are the two king snakes we ordered. I'm, I'm just amazed at how beautiful they are. I'm so excited. So now we got the third snake in the box. The next two are corn snakes. We got those nice king snakes, beautiful whites, amazing patterns. And now this butter stripe female. If you guys have been watching my channel, you know I have a butter that I got from VMS Herps last year named Popcorn. He has been looking for a girl. He's a nice male and he's het striped. So this girl is actually a striped butter, so it's a match made in heaven. Check him out, check her out. All right, so amazing snake so far. And this is the last snake in the box. I could already see this girl is deep in shed, so you're not gonna get to see her true colors, but I'll show you a picture of what she looked like prior to the shed. And this is a sun-kissed tessera, het lavender, strawberry, and anery. The reason why I bought this girl was she had a crazy Aztec-looking zigzag pattern and this girl is Het Lavender. So I wanna produce some amazing looking orchard corn snakes, which is sun-kissed mixed with lavender. So this girl is gonna be a key ingredient to making some killer orchards. Now I know when this girl sheds, she's gonna to look totally different. So I can't wait to give you guys an update and see her in her new skin. Man, look at these beauties. I'm so excited with this purchase. This unboxing was amazing. And Christmas isn't even here yet, so this is like a present for me early. Now I'm gonna give you guys a quick recap of the snakes I got in this unboxing video. I left the sun-kissed Tessera inside because she's deep in shed, so I don't want to aggravate her. So this is the first snake we got. The first snake we showed in this unboxing video. High white. Banded California king snake, extreme white California king snake. Now look how clean this pattern is. The whites are so clean on this snake. It's, maybe it's hard to tell on camera, but I had a I have a couple of these in my collection, and the white on this one is just really clean. It's it's really impressive. And something else that's real impressive about this king snake. It's head albino and it's super calm. Look out! Look how calm the snake is for a king snake. Not biting me. I'm putting my finger there. Not biting me. So we're going to be doing a feeding video. First time feeding these snakes in about a week. So stay tuned for that. Let me show you the next snake. So the next snake I showed in this unboxing was this high white albino California king snake. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna name this guy, but since it's almost Christmas time, I might name him Snowman. And last but not least, is the Butterstripe female that will be pairing with Popcorn. And this girl has like a perfect, perfect stripe. You can see it. So Popcorn is the male that I'm gonna pair her with. So what do you guys think I should name her? I'm not sure.
So this was one amazing unboxing video, one of my favorites, one of my favorites of all time. That high white banded Cali King, those crisp crisp whites and deep blacks, the albino high white California King Snake with almost no pattern at all. Pure white, a little bit of pink on the head. Oh, just amazing. The butter striped female, which will be pairing with popcorn, just an amazing example of a butter. And that beautiful sun kissed Tessera who's in shed. I'll give you guys an update video when she sheds. And we're gonna be feeding them in a couple of days, so I'll be doing another video. I'm tired, I need a coffee, so I'm gonna go right now, get in my car, go get a nice coffee. I'm too tired to make one. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video, so leave comments and wait for the next video I'll be posting on these amazing animals. I'll catch you guys in the next one.